Hello all uh, and welcome. Uh, in this video, we are going to dive into phantom data in Rust. So today we are going to explore this concept that's all about making your Rust code smarter and safer. So what exactly is phantom data? Well, uh, it's like a behind the scene hero working at a compile time to help your core code understand ownership and lifetime relationships that might not be obvious from just looking at it. So picture this, you are writing some Rust code and you need to enforce certain rules about types, but you don't want to add any extra runtime overhead. That's where phantom data comes in. It's uh, it's this marker type that you can throw in there to give a compiler heads up about what's going on with your types. And uh, one cool thing, it doesn't add any memory usage when you uh, when your code is running. So let's break it down a bit more. A phantom data might not uh, be directly used in a struct or type, but it's there to tell the compiler, hey, this type T uh, or parameter T is important for what's going on here. So this way you can set up a rules and constraint that the compiler will enforce for you all without slowing down your code at a runtime. So why do we care? Well, uh, think about it. In Rust, we are all about safety and correctness. And when you are dealing with a complex uh, type relationships, especially in generic code, you want to make sure everything is right. And phantom data helps us to do just that. We will <coughs> chat about how you can, uh, how we can use phantom data in force uh, type variants, keep your generic code safe, and even uh, give the compiler a nudge in the right direction with uh, your type inference. So uh, it's like having a trusty sidekick in your Rust adventures, making sure everything is running uh, smoothly in behind the scene. So let's explore how phantom data works and how it can be effectively utilized in your Rust programs. So this is an example code. So in, uh, in this uh, wrapper, uh, a generic struct containing data type T uh, and that marker field here uh, of type phantom data signals that presence of type u uh, without introduce, introducing any runtime overhead enabling sophisticated type manipulation within a generic context uh, let's uh, understand with a uh, more scenarios so consider this scenario where precise control over a type relationships and lifetimes is essential, especially within a generic context. So in this example, we define struct container that holds a reference to data type T. The phantom data type field is used to signal that the container has a lifetime parameter A and is borrowing a reference of type T. Although phantom data doesn't store any actual data, it influences the compiler uh, compiler's understanding of the struct type. Uh, let's consider another scenario. In another scenario where we need to enforce type level constraints without adding uh, any runtime overhead. So in this example, uh, immutable container holds data type T and the marker field of type phantom data uh, ensures that immutable container is invariant over its type uh, parameter T, preventing any variance with respect to T. Uh, in some of the advanced scenarios, utilizing this, uh, utilizing unsafe code along alongside phantom data, it can unlock unparalleled performance optimizations. So here, uh, this unsafe wrapper employs phantom data alongside unsafe code to optimize memory layout and enable concurrent access via the same trait. So leveraging phantom data with unsafe constructs demand, uh, demands meticulous attention to detail and strict adherence to the Rust safety guarant uh, guarantees. Uh, so ensuring type variance with a phantom data. So let's uh, dive into this example. Imagine we are using smart pointers like RC or ARC. Uh, by employing phantom data, we can ensure proper type variance, preventing issues such, uh, such as premature, premature data drops or invalid references. So in this example, my struct contains a field of type uh, RC and a reference counter smart, uh, reference counter smart pointer. 
So these smart pointers allow multiple reference to the same data, but ensuring the type variance is crucial. With a phantom data, Rust compiler can enforce covariance and co contravariance, ensuring that uh, our code adheres to the uh, intended type relationships. By using phantom data, we inform the compiler about a ownership relationship relationship between my struct instance and the data it holds. This ensures that the correct variance is maintained and preventing issues like data being dropped prematurely or referenced beyond its intended lifetime. Uh, so compile time invariance and preventing unintended behavior. So now let's talk about this compile time invariance. Uh, within with phantom data we can establish rules and constraints that must be satisfied at a compile time preventing unintended runtime behavior uh, one of the most compelling aspects of phantom data is its ability to establish compile time invariance by leveraging phantom data we can define rules and constraints that must be satisfied at a compile time thus preventing unintended runtime behavior so let's walk through this example to demonstrate how we can use phantom data to enforce this invariance effectively. Here container holds a reference uh, to data with a specific lifetime A. By including phantom data, we enforce the relationship between the data reference and the container's lifetime. This prevents situation where the container outlives the reference data and ensuring memory safety at a compile time. So Finally, uh, uh, we can conclude uh, that the uh, this compile time safety. So these these uh, advantage we get uh, when we use phantom data uh, in our Rust code. So we get compile time safety, zero runtime overhead, uh, type in variance enforcement, uh, enforcement, enhanced type safety. It facilitates the type in inference. We got the clear code intent and then the uh, sophisticated type systems. So phantom data allows developers to enforce ownership and a lifetime relationship at a compile time, ensuring that the code adheres to specified constraints without introducing a runtime errors. Uh, as a zero size type, phantom data does not consume any memory at a runtime, making it an efficient tool for conveying type information without impacting the performance. Phantom data enables the for uh, enforcement of type variance, ensuring that generic code behaves correctly with respect of type relationships and constraints. By signaling ownership and lifetime relationship between uh, different types and data structure or between different uh, types within a generic context, phantom data enhances type safety and reduces the likelihood of uh, bugs related to the type mismatches. Phantom data guides the compiler's type inference process, helping it make more informed decision about types and reducing the need of explicit type annotations in the code. By explicitly indicating the relevance of certain type parameters to the compiler, phantom data makes the code more understandable and helps communicate the developer's intent regarding the type of relationships and constraints. A phantom data represents the cornerstones of the Rust type system, providing a sophisticated mechanism and encoding type level information and enforcing compile time constraint without sacrificing, sacrificing the performance or clarity. So by using phantom data, we can prevent dangling reference and ensure memory safety. Phantom data introduces zero runtime overhead, contributing to compile time efficiency and optimizing binary size. So, uh, phantom data in Rust serves more powerful mechanism in, of, uh, for ensuring type safety and correctness in a code by providing means uh, to express ownership lifetime and type uh, relationship at compile time. Phantom data enables to us to write robust and maintainable Rust program. As we uh, continue to explore the uh, utilize Rust features, let's remember the importance of leveraging tools like phantom data to encourage best practices and uphold the integrity of our code base. So understanding the phantom data empowers Rust programmers to leverage Rust strong uh, type system effectively and leading to safer and ma uh, more efficient code. Uh, so thank you for uh, joining me today and I hope this presentation uh, has uh, provided a valuable insight into phantom data uh, and have a great day. Thanks.